Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits. Okay. So, so again, you just spoke about the, 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 the love that you, Pac, Stretch had. And, and you're like, Stretch and Pac was like this. Where did it go left? Um, how, how did that relationship break down? After, after quad, after the quad shooting. Okay. That, that's when it went, well, cause they felt, it felt like there's a few things that was said. The first thing is after pot got locked up, stretch was there at that hotel. Stretch had left, right? Cause he's always with Pac. They was writing rounds together, th looking through beats and listening to beats, everything. After the quad shooting, Pac felt the way because he said that Stretch imagined him didn't come see him when he was locked in because you had to have an ID and he ain't had no ID. All right, he's a convicted mm. felon. He couldn't come up there to see Pac anyway. You see Discretion TV, somebody lying because a few months ago, Little C just said this. This is all 2021. Little C's and Mano, who wasn't there, but Mano know the whole story. Mano wasn't even at Choir Studio the night, but Mano know the whole story. They just said this. Well, how we live now and what we do now, you know what right, I mean? Right, right, so right. Maybe he didn't know that, you know what I mean? But my thing was, you know, after all that happened, Stretch, you know, God bless the dead, Stretch is the one that told me that. Because he went to see, um, he went to see Tupac on Rackers Island. Wait, because he said that Stretch imagined him didn't come see him when he was locked up. But they couldn't come see him because you had to have an ID, and he ain't had no ID. So how we live now and what we do now, you know what right, I mean? Right, so right, right. Maybe he didn't know that, you know what I mean? But my thing was, you know, after all that happened, Stretch, you know, God bless the dead, Stretch is the one that told me that. Because he went to see, um, he went to see Tupac on Rackers Island. After Stretch, all this. After all this. Yeah, because Stretch was still cool with us. Stretch, right. all that. Cause Cause Stretch knew what yeah, Right, he, and Big he, always spoke highly of Stretch. Yeah, he knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? So Stretch was like, when, when he went to see Pac, he told Pac, was like, yo, that shit was funny. How when Season them came downstairs and they back Season them down, he said, Pac was like, oh, like, Season them came down? He was like, yeah, they backed them down too. Because he didn't, remember, he didn't know. But then from there, it went to the, well, who's the who shot your records? You know what I mean? It was mm. like, it was always like, it was something else but or it was somebody the, it was in the here just to, to try to keep push the, the, push the, push the envelope. I'm but it, it was the vibe article first. Yeah. That was the first thing he did. He did an interview while he was in, because he blew trial. And while he was in, on, on Rackers Island, he did the vibe, the vibe interview where he basically implicated y'all in his mm -hmm. situation now what i'm asking you now stretch being a more a more of a person that understood it from both angles he wasn't able to reach him and tell him like basically like nah they didn't they didn't do that i mean from what stretch was telling us he did do that but you know i mean Pac felt the way because he said that Stretch imagined him didn't come see him when he was locked up. But they couldn't come see him because you had to have an ID. And he ain't had no ID. All right? He's a convicted mm. felon. He couldn't come up there to see Pac anyway. He had no ID. That's number one. And then number two, they were friends. The friendship and that bond was B.I., God rest his soul, Stretch, and Pac. They were all cool, bro. Like, if you've seen the documentaries on Tupac and Biggie, these dudes were... They were tight. So you can't ask somebody to pick a side when you know that what happened to you did not come from that person. You know Big had nothing to do with that. Big actually went back into the studio and got your gun from in the piano that they hit it and put it in his waistband and walked out with all of those cops out there with a gun in his waist, your gun in his waist. You knew that that did not come from B.I. So you asked the stretch to choose a sign. And he's like, you my man. And he's my man. You know where this came from. You know who you was messing with that we kept telling you not to mess with. So you know where it came from, bro. So why are you, why are you wilding? But once Pac got into wilding, there was no holding him back. There's no holding him back even with a guy who's his brother, who he knows, meaning Stretch. Stretch was and there big. with him. And Biggie. And, and Biggie. But, but I'm saying, when, when Stretch, when Pac got shot, 
Wasn't Stretch standing next to him? Well, they, he got, they, they that... laid him down. Yeah, they laid Stretch down too. He was with him. Mm. So he just felt like, look, it's either you gonna ride with me or, or you, you gonna ride either with- you, you, you gotta understand that that really, that stuff didn't really come out and really manifest itself crazy until that Vibe Magazine interview and then when, when Suge Knight put the battery in his back. That's when it really started going. So he wasn't dealing with none, nobody from the East Coast. Nobody. And it wasn't long. When did the, the Quad uh, studio shoot happen? 94? Like 94. He was, he was in jail in 95. Then they got him out, right? And then uh, Stretch got killed not too long after that. Hmm. And did Tupac go to Stretch's funeral? No. And that's when him and I had a problem. Because we're both, we are both godfathers to his daughter. We're godfathers to his daughter. And no matter what happens, the one thing that I learned about is respect. There's a moral code, right? You can see, if, you, if you're a fan of movies, you watch The Godfather like me, the dudes that set Don Corleone up came to his funeral. Mm -hmm. Stretch mm -hmm. ain't have nothing to do with what happened to you in, in a quad studio. That was your man. You could have showed up at his funeral. You should have showed up and just paid your respects. Or even if you wasn't coming, you could have sent something to let everybody know that you felt a certain way about this man who was really kind of responsible for holding you down in New York for a long time because of the amount of respect that street dudes in New York had for Stretch. You know what I mean? They knew, they knew where that dude came from. They knew his pedigree. They knew that cat would bust his guns when it was necessary. They knew that. So you running around with Stretch was like, yo, you can't touch that kid. He with, he with the young guns. He with them Queens dudes. Them dudes is ill. That's stretching a man. You know? Mm -hmm. The same way he had that pass in New Jersey because of Tretch. When Pac went to East Orange and all that Newark, they knew not to touch him because that's Tretch's man. The same way when I was in Jersey and I'm running down there with the double eye crew, cats down there knew I was untouchable because I'm Tretch's man. I'm on their block. I'm chilling. I'm with Face and all of them. They knew dudes around there was like, nah, Ed, y'all don't mess with Ed, bro. Uh, Valentino giving me sh 21 gun salute, El Presidente. Valentino checking in respectfully. Now you see, Fed Lover, I couldn't wait to tap in because first, you, you old head, you a scumbag, B. First of all, we all know Biggie did not walk past no NYPD. He did not walk past your fellow NYPD officers with no fucking gun. No fucking Glock 9. Are you fucking serious? Maybe if he had said a fucking a, a sandwich, Biggie snuck one of the free sandwiches from the studio sessions out in his waist, I would have believed it. You talk about Big Stretch. Big Stretch is all the way fucking dirt. Big Stretch is caught on fucking camera on ABC Worldwide News, walking with fucking police, he didn't even get shot. You feel me? Why was Stretch walking with police and he didn't get shot? You talk about Stretch, it's from the, his Queens and we all know blah, blah, blah. It's just pure fuck shit, trying to rewrite Pac history. And lover, fed lover, you too old for that. You, you used to wear wigs for MTV used to wear women clothes for MTV. That's how you got where you at with Hot 97 and 105.1, whatever. Who gives a fuck? But the fact you keep on over 25 years, you keep on. You keep on trying to rewrite history and making... <laughs> Let's just face it. Stretch, who dropped like a sack of potatoes. You're trying to make him seem like a superhero. First of all, why are you walking with the police? You at the hospital. And Pac is the one that got robbed for over $40,000 worth of jewelry. We all know Big Stretch, your jewelry. If you can see, this is one of the biggest chains I've ever seen Big Stretch with. You hardly see him with jewelry. You know, I don't know. I remember these Gucci links. Um, tops. You could probably get one for five hundred to a thousand dollars, maybe eight hundred. 
10 karat gold, I'm stretching it. Stretch, Fed Lover. Officer Fed Lover, stretch. He wanted to play the bodyguard role. Every time you see stretch, give me some thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Because time's up for Fed Lover. Every time we seen Big Stretch, his ass was trying to play the bodyguard role. Look at this shit. What is he doing? Blocking jabs? Was Big Stretch like blocking jabs to the media? Like, I don't know who thought that Big Stretch was the bodyguard, but I did too. <laughs> okay? When I ain't here, sh listen, first of all, I'm going to kick it 100. Every time I seen Big Stretch, he played a bodyguard role until I learned that he was Big Stretch from the live squad. You know what I'm saying? I'm the st I'm straight facts. Before I even knew of, of a fucking Big Stretch and, and I was in the fucking industry running around and shit. You feel me? Drop a comment below. Let me know, man. Because Officer Fed Lover, man. Shame on you, man. You too old for that. <laughs> you too old for that. These dudes are just mad. Tupac was like the new John Gotti, the black John Gotti. Tupac was a superstar. And Pac didn't even know how powerful he was. With the media press, they set him up. You know, people loved him, supporting him. They didn't even know what to do with themselves. You feel me? Fed Lover talking all that shit. And he... He's, he has yet to admit he's the reason why Tupac had to do 15 days in jail. You feel me? Ed Lover was the one that set him up on, on your MTV raps. I showed y'all that. A happy new year to you too. You did your job. I'm out of money. I'm out of uh, all my resources. You made me look like the bad guy in my own community. Can you move this down and to I your left, please? Thank you very much. Instead of making it a bad Christmas right. story, let us let you give your side you of the story, Mr. Shapiro. Don't stop pushing. Hold up, man. Right. Mr. Shakur, you say whether you classify yourself as or not, it seems clear there are violent overtones in your music. What kind of message does that send out to the children, Mr. Shakur? Get in front of me. Mr. Mr. Shakur, could you kindly answer the question? Mr. Shakur, could you kindly answer the question for us? Could you kindly answer the question, sir? Get out the way, man! Damn, I'm getting in that van! That's why you get no pictures. No, ma'am. Twenty one gun salute. So bust how the media even got their license plate on the news. Shit was filthy. You feel me? So Fed Lover, you don't know shit you talking about. What Pac had to go through with that fucking media and the government, bro. 25 years later, oh, had you still popping shit. Early this morning, the violence found in Shakur's music and private life may have caught up with him. The rapper was critically wounded in a hail of bullets outside a New York City recording studio. According to police, the shooting started after three gunmen approached the rap star and his bodyguard, demanding they turn over their jewels. 21 gun salute. Any of you people right there was another way... They try to rewrite Pac history because he ain't get shot with no motherfucking bodyguard. He got shot with his manager, but they call the manager the motherfucking bodyguard. Maybe because of Big Stretch, dumbass. You feel me? New York City recording studio. According to police, the shooting started after three gunmen approached the rap star and his bodyguard, demanding they turn over their jewelry. Shakur was shot five times with wounds to the head, groin area, and hand. His bodyguard, Fred Moore, was also wounded. A witness at the scene heard the rapper yell out, Who shot me? Can you tell me, was this a random shooting? Do you think it was a premeditated shooting? Do you think someone was waiting for him? 
The shooting is currently being labeled a robbery attempt and came just one day after Tupac lashed out at the woman who charged him with rape last November. The only time ever there was an act of sodomy, she admitted she did it to me. I should be, you know, putting charges on this girl who sodomized me on the floor of a dance club. The outspoken rapper was as combative as usual as he waited for the jury to determine his fate on the sodomy and gun charges stemming from the woman's charges. I'm not saying I'm a thug because I want to rob you and rape people and things. I'm a businessman. The shooting of Tupac Shakur here in New York City once again underscores the incidents of violence that seem to have surrounded this man ever since he shot to superstardom in the world of music and entertainment. Shakur's private life has drawn more attention than his music. The rapper has been arrested 10 times since 1991. The release of his first album came one month after a six-year-old boy was killed by a stray bullet after Tupac got into a fight. Although witnesses said it wasn't Shakur who fired the shots. In October of 93, he was allegedly involved in a shooting of two off-duty Atlanta policemen. Mark Whitwell is one of those officers. They tried to kill my brother, my wife, and me. Whitwell says a traffic altercation between him and Tupac and his entourage resulted in Whitwell's being shot in the back. Charges of aggravated assault were filed against Whitwell and Shakur. But all charges have since been dropped. I think he's a menace. A hazard to everybody in society. Shakur's legal problems continued. Last May, he was sentenced to 15 days on a California road gang and 30 months probation for attacking a director on a music video set. The city attorney, for sure, without any attitudes on it, got something against me. She's really like got my poster up over her bed. She almost cried because I didn't get six months. <laughs> Despite his legal problems, Shakur has still maintained a successful music career. He also appeared in films, most notably Poetic Justice with Janet Jackson. However, yesterday, before the shooting, he claimed he was being persecuted by the press and the charges against him have been blown out of... Crazy. Well, Shakur underwent surgery earlier today. He's listed as serious but stable. Discretion TV, yes, sir. And if you're still here at the end of this video... No funny, if you're still here, because I know shit happens, and sometimes Wi-Fi, sometimes the connection gets fucked up, sometimes you don't got time to watch the whole video, but if you've made it through this whole video, always remember what the fuck Pac went through, real fucking Pac fans, real fucking Pac supporters will never forget this right here. So anytime they talk about Quad Studio, you raise the fuck up, and you pay attention, Pac had to go through this shit, not them motherfuckers. Pac fans had to deal with this shit too, not them motherfuckers. Anybody that was a Biggie fan, anybody was a Mob Deep fan, Nas fan, they will always bring this shit up in New York City, alright? So Officer Fed Lover, fuck you too. Fuck Big Stretch. He ain't get shot. Fuck he walking with the police too. On top of the whole shit, the nigga walking with the police too at the quad. Never forget what Pac had to go through. Through the media. After getting shot and robbed. Where the fuck was Big Stretch? That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Where the fuck was Big Stretch? Even if you might say, oh, Pac ain't want him around. Nigga, fuck that. Yo, Pac, man, what the fuck? I'm your nigga, bro. Yo, Pac, man, if that's your bro, I don't know. Shit different. You ain't see Stretch no more. The next fucking day? Fuck out of here, bro. Always remember this shit, B. Shit is different. 21 Gun Salute. I think nobody been arrested if they said they didn't want to kill Tupac. Because they're f snitching to the police, so they ain't going to get arrested. Not just snitching, be smart, son. <laughs> because Tupac not ain't dead. Ain't as smart as you Tupac not dead, n If he was dead, they'd be arresting those dudes for murder. You know he's somewhere smoking a Cuban cigar. He's doing what you're doing right now. You know what I mean? Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits.